That's <laughs> tomorrow at 3 o'clock right here on Twin Cities Live. Now, this. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's good. Am I doing it? That, yes. Boy, you look so hollow. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's called contouring. Kind of. Or sucking in your cheeks. Yeah. Uh, it's a way to play with light and shadows to add definition to your face. And it's been a common technique since the dawn of screen makeup. You can really do cool things with it. Since then, Whoa. makeup lovers have been looking for faster and easier ways to apply. So here with four hacks, we have TCL producer and beauty lover, Betsy Maline. She's our hello, resident hello. makeup uh, fan. Yes, okay, absolutely. So this is really cool. How, like, what are the most common ways that people are using contouring, though? Yeah, I would say the thing you hear the most is the advice to go in a three around your face. Okay. So, like, make a little three starting at the center of your face, go around your forehead where your chin is, and then down, or your cheek, and then down where your chin is. Okay, and what is that doing? So, it's making your face look slimmer. It's making, you're putting more shadow under your cheek so your cheekbones pop out more. You're putting shadow under your jaw so this looks really straight and defined. Okay. And then I just do it on my forehead because it makes your forehead look a little smaller and also you look more tan. Mm. Oh. It just looks like you got more color in your face. See, this feels like, I, I do feel like the people that I've seen that do contour, sometimes mm -hmm. it gets a little out of control. Yes. And it looks yeah. like you're like a stage performer versus yeah. it's like, hey, well, I'm just like, I'm just trying to highlight or accentuate yeah. some stuff. Like I mentioned, it's that photo is from the 1920s and that's for screen makeup, right? right? That's something on cameras, on lights. And contouring comes from this history of uh, photo shoots and things where you're going to have a lot of lights and a lot of different filters between you and the final image. It's not really meant for every day come see me, come up close to my face and look at me. Okay. So when you see some of these crazy things and they look so good on social media, they have a lot of lights at their face and they have a lot of filters over their cameras. And a lot of makeup on. So, okay. Yeah. But let's talk about, okay, the first uh, hack that you found yes. here on the old social medias is about creating your own foundation. Why? Yeah. So you can make your own foundation just using pigments. So using yellow, blue, red, and white. And it's supposed to be like the exact right color for your face, right? Because it's infinitely customizable. You can mm. customize it to whatever you want. Oh. But this girl here, you see, she's blending it right there on her face. Right. And so... Oh, boy, that does kind of look good, though. Right, because it's exactly your skin tone, yeah. right? All right? So I did try this. Yes. And I went in with way too much yellow immediately. And so my face, it, when I tried it at home, it just didn't really work for me. You were jaundice and too, Oh, look at you. <laughs> you can see, there. too. I was very jaundice looking. And then I turned orange. It was giving me Oompa Loompa flashbacks. It was not good. But th this is possible. My recommendation, don't do it right on your face. You can mix it in your hand beforehand and find a color you really like yeah. and keep playing with it so you don't end up looking <laughs> like this. That's you can so see, I'm just so annoyed with this. <laughs> okay. The, uh, the thing is, though, is why wouldn't you just, like, use a normal foundation and then maybe add a little bit of color to adjust it? Yeah, like, and people do something. that, too. If you find a foundation that has the wrong undertone for you, if it's too pink and red, you can put blue in it. Yes. This is something for, like, pro makeup artists to use. You can see I just did it on my hand there. And that way I'm not making a huge mess all over the place. Okay, beauty boost or beauty bust? This is a bust. You don't need to match it on your face like this. Just do it on your hand if you're really into it, but just buy a foundation. Just buy a foundation. Just buy like one that matches your trial and error. Oh it's a lot of work for yeah. not a lot of payoff. Okay. All right, how about the, uh, how about the flashlight? Yes. Use a light to find the shadows. Yeah, so this one you kind of look like a little jack-o'-lantern, and you find the places in your face when you have a flashlight under your face where the light's not hitting. It's not flattering. Do no, that. it doesn't look nice oh, to but do. But now she looks lovely. But it makes your face look so much fuller, and it's supposed to make it look more youthful. So I tried this with just my little flashlight here. You can see it kind of casts these shadows. It's yeah. We have a lot of light going on here. Mm -hmm. But you find the places where you're going to have those shadows cast on your face, and just put your highlight and bright colors there. So you see me turning off my light, looking like a horror movie. Oh, looking your so tree scary. Looks nice. Thank you. Yes, we have the tree up for Christmas. That's great. Um, and you can see I usually wouldn't put highlighter out that far. <laughs> on my face. I was kind of confused about why I would go that far out. But once I turned the light back on, it looked great. Really? It looked awesome. I really liked it. I really, really actually enjoyed this one a lot. So you're going to call it a beauty? This is a boost for me. I'm yeah. giving this one a boost. See, this one makes sense to me. There's like a little right. bit of science behind it's it. It's right, yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, it gives you sort of a template to what your face exactly. is. Exactly. And I don't think I'm going to be turning off my light every time I do my makeup, but now I know about that placement. I can use it anytime Ooh. I want. Oh my gosh. Okay, this tape one we've got to see. Yes. What yeah. are you doing here? So, yeah, you're swallowing following this tape and then putting it on your face to make basically like a template for where you want your contour to go. And so you know you're going to have the perfect line from your ear to your mouth. Don't do this, you guys. <laughs> I was so annoyed. I can't even I did this, I did oh this, my gosh. and you can hear in the background if the sound was on my boyfriend going, what do you want for dinner? 
<laughs> not right now. I'm so sorry. I'm working. Um, but yeah, I tried this. It's sure you can do this, but you take off the tape and it takes all the makeup on oh, that was under the tape. So terrible. you can see oh, my skin's mad. coming out. I was not. No. Not happy just, about this. Just find the line and then just do it and on its own. And two, if you really are like, I need that straight, straight edge, you can use like a cardstock, a piece of paper, packaging from something, and then you're not putting tape on your face. Yeah, and looking so So if so you really creepy. want a straight line, just find a straight edge, you'll be okay. That okay, one so is a beauty a bust. bust. Okay, real quick, the last one is? Nose contouring, okay. yes. So Elizabeth, you actually sent me this on Instagram, and I was oh, like, yeah. I'm very curious to try this, because I have trouble contouring my nose, personally. It's kind of a unique spot to get all the places right. And so I tried this just using um, my little contour stick, and I actually really liked it. Really? It's I thought, what, what, what is like a button nose? So you push your oh. nose up to get a line where your natural nose would be pushed up, <laughs> and then you just kind of blend it in with your fingers, which I think contour does look good when it's blend blended in with your fingers. I thought this ended up looking really great. And yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of nose contour on myself personally, but if I were to bring it into my everyday routine, this would be a really great way to do it. That's because you have a perfect nose, well, too. Thank so, you. like, that, that makes sense. <laughs> so, it tape easy. face, no, pig nose, yes. Pig nose, yes. Okay. Beauty <laughs> boost. Booty boost. Beauty boost. <laughs> and the booty boost, too. And a booty boost. <laughs> oh, oh, this is so great. Yeah. Thanks, Betsy. Thank always you. good stuff. For more beauty content, you can always follow Betsy on her Instagram. It's at Betsy Malik. You can send her some of those hacks, like yeah. I do, and maybe she'll feature it on the show.